Hey everyone, I finished watching the next Wild Force episode, Sing Song. I've been looking forward to this one. I've always liked this one. It's a very weird episode. It's a very unique episode for Power Rangers. Fans seem to be kind of split on it. Some fans really, really like this one, and it's one of their favorites, and other fans absolutely hate it and think it's stupid. Um, I don't know quite where I fit. Like, I like the episode. I like the more unique episodes of Power Rangers, at the very least, I can appreciate when they do something different. Uh, and I feel like this came out pretty well, so anyway, uh, summary, the opening of this episode is nothing to do really with the rest of the episode, it's got a very dark tone that contrasts with the later, more lighter fairy tale type of stuff. It starts off with Jindrax and Toxica are in a graveyard, uh, pilfering a tombstone. Alright. They bring the tombstone to Master Org, and then Master Org sits down in front of it and reads the name off of it. Victor Adler. And then he sees the uh, born and then died. So that's where they think I am. <laughs> it's just a cool, dark, twisted moment. It reminds me kind of uh, the Emperor in the old Star Wars movies. Like uh, in Return of the Jedi when he'd sit there cackling. It's so cool, and that's how Master Org uh, feels in that scene. I really love the scene. It's freaking awesome. Uh, I especially love that line. So that's where they think I am. <laughs> it's awesome. So anyway, uh, rest of the like the actual episode starts now. He turns the tombstone into a new org and sends it to battle the rangers. Up on the Animarium, Shayla is humming to herself, and uh, there's this distance shot. I don't quite know what the name of it would be, but something far away hears her humming and is awakened by it. Meanwhile, the rangers go to confront the tombstone org and Merrick joins them. The org's defeated really, really quickly. Toxica shows up, revives it, the rangers get the zords, but the uh, org's power goes up the longer it it's alive or something? I don't know. So anyway, uh, Merrick wants to help. He's about to call his zords, and just then, a new wild zord appears, a big green deer and it shoots metal rings out of its antlers that uh, wrap around the tombstone or, again, knock it down. And uh, Merrick calls to the deer zord, but it runs away. And we hear Merrick say, he still hasn't forgiven me. And so then uh, the Wild Force Megazord is damaged and can't continue fighting the org. And so then the rangers leave. What about Merrick's zords? Wasn't he going to call them? What about the Conga Zord? Oh. Like, so I was thinking about this, like, why don't they call the other Zords? I really don't know. I think it was an oversight. I think it might have had something to do with the Japanese footage. Like, maybe there was a reason in Gao Ranger that they didn't call the Zords and they didn't translate that over. Or maybe they just overlooked it in Sentai as well. That sometimes happens. Uh, or the other reason, which makes sense to me, though it's a very dumb reason, but it does kind of fit in the context of this episode, and it does tie in a little bit with the deer zord. Maybe the wild zords are napping and the rangers don't want to wake them up. Anyway, uh, the zords are damaged, they can't fight the org, and then, uh, let's see, we see Master Org laughing, that tombstone org will only grow more powerful the longer it remains, and so then, uh, the rangers go to Merrick, and they're like, hey, who is the green deer zord? And he's like, I can't explain. And so then they're like, hey, Shayla, what's the deal with the green deer zord? And she's like, okay, I'll explain. Okay. I don't think Merrick really needed to be here. I think this probably would have worked a little better if Merrick hadn't been there right with the rangers, like, like right away joining in with them. I think he should have been, like, off on his own. Like, I'm trying to think of some alternative here. Like, the rangers go to fight the org, and then, like, uh, Merrick is out in the woods, and then maybe he hears the Zord and the Tombstone org fighting. Then he runs out to see what's going on. He's like, oh, the rangers are fighting. And so then he's about to call his Zord. Then he sees the green deer Zord, and that uh, distracts him. Like, I don't know. It's still not perfect. I'd still wonder why he doesn't call his Zord once the Tombstone org is defenseless. But, yeah, whatever. Moving on, um, let's see, brr, 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 brr. Shayla explains to the rangers, uh, the, the deer zord, uh, let's see, blah, 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 okay. 
He and Merrick used to play music and sing for it centuries ago when the world was at peace. And the rangers all wonder why it would run away from Merrick. And uh, there's a line Danny has. I can't remember exactly what it says. If they're friends, why did it run away when it saw Merrick? And then Shayla explains, maybe it's confused. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't know why we stopped singing to it. And it's a very silly concept, but it works for this episode. It's okay. So meanwhile, Merrick is out trying to find the deer zord. He tries playing his flute for it, but it still doesn't show up. And he yells out about uh, the raising of Animaria, him being trapped in Zanaku's tomb, hoping that the Deer Zord will hear him and understand why they stopped singing for it. He doesn't get an answer right away. Up on the Animarium, Cole says to Shayla, You and Merrick should sing for the Deer Zord again. And Shayla says, Things aren't the same anymore. I'll talk more about that uh, at the end. Um... So the Tombstone Org wakes up and attacks the city. The Rangers go back with the Conga Zord, which it exists. So why weren't why didn't they use it before? That's why I'm like pretty sure in my assumption that the Conga Zord like component Zords were napping, and the Rangers just didn't want to wake them up. I don't know. Maybe there was another big battle we didn't see in between this and the last one. Who knows? Um, okay, Animus appears with Shayla in the uh, the little water fountain thing and tells Shayla that she and Merrick must play for the deer. The deer shows up to Merrick, and then uh, Shayla comes over and she tells Merrick that she's going to sing for the deer. And then Merrick plays his flute, and the deer's ord is happy. Merrick asks it again to help, and so then uh, the deer's ord gives them the deer's ord crystal. Okay. I guess just to establish that that exists. I mean, the crystals have kind of decreased in uh, relevance. Like, it's not so much about the crystals, it's the Zords. Actually, I don't even know, really know why they needed the crystals anyway. The Zords are right there. Okay, whatever. Uh, the uh, Deer Zord forms with the other Zords, and with its power, they defeat the Tombstone Org. And then Shayla tells the Rangers that she's promised to sing for the Deer every morning. And she tells Merrick, and I want you to play your flute. Princess, it would not be proper. And then she's like, it's an order from Animus. And so then Merrick's like, okay. The end. So, uh, one of the things that's nice with the Deer Zord is it has this kind of uh, anthropomorphic, anthrop anthropomorphic something. It has a personality, like a cartoony personality. It kind of reminds me of the earlier episodes where we're getting Zords introduced, and the Zords all had their own kind of unique personalities. Uh, oh yeah, there's a really weird part at the beginning where, let's see, when the Deer Zord knocks over the Tombstone Org, we see Jindrax and Toxica down in Master Org's lair, and Jindrax says, Master, the Tombstone Org has fallen, and he can't get up. And I always wondered, is that supposed to be a joke? Because the whole, like, fallen and can't get up is such an awkward line. It became, like, a thing after the, uh, uh, the old Life Alert commercials. It's just a weird place for it, because it's not played like a joke. It's just an offhand line. I don't know, maybe it was just a boring line, and the voice actor for Jindrax thought, oh, what if I, like, made a joke out of it? Whatever, anyway. Um... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh yeah, when the Megazord is damaged, I I really don't know why they don't call the other Zords. That's so weird. Especially because the Konga Zord shows up later. Also, what happened to Merrick's Zords? Like, they don't show up either. Like, maybe this episode is from Gao Ranger before uh, the Silver Ranger showed up, but uh, I don't remember. But anyway, uh, the weird thing with this episode, the weirdest thing, like, even weirder than them not calling the Zords when they have Zords, is... Why why are Shayla and Merrick reluctant to sing for the deer again? They don't really explain it too well. Like, uh, Merrick has a line, it wouldn't be proper. Like, how would it not be... Was it, like, a job back in whenever? Like, back in the old, uh, like, 5,000 years ago or whatever it is? Three th how many thousand years ago was uh, Animaria a thing. 
I don't remember now, anyway. That's the closest we get to any kind of uh, clue to, like, what, why they feel the way they do. But, like, when I watch it, it more feels like they just feel awkward because they used to maybe be a couple and now they're not a couple anymore because, I don't know. And so they don't feel right singing together or playing his flute and she sings. But that's kind of a, that's a very petty reason not to do it. Like, sing for the deer resort so it'll help you. It's... Like, you feel awkward too bad. This is to save the world, stupid. What, What's wrong with you? Anyway, the song that Shayla sings is really good. Uh, Ode to Animaria or something. I don't know if it actually has a real name. Maybe it's in the credits. I didn't think to watch the credits to see. But the song's really good. It's a really sweet song, and it feels like the type of thing that came straight out of a fairy tale. And, uh, oh yeah, there's a kind of funny bit when she's singing to the deer zord, there's like this weird blue screen, green screen music video thing that uh, doesn't look the best. It's really jittery. The footage doesn't quite match up with the footage of Shayla and Merrick. They look very out of place. It looks very distracting. And I read online that apparently a bunch of fans complained about it. And like the day after it aired, one of the uh, editors or something went on Ranger Board or some Power Ranger forum and apologized for it. Also, there's a rumor somebody got fired for it, which, yeah, it's a bad effect, but it's Power Rangers. I don't think it was, like, that bad. Like, I don't, I don't know. I think some fans are way too critical of the green screening, blue screening there. Like, yeah, it looks bad, but it's like a music video scene. It's, I think, meant to be kind of, um, what's the word? can't remember what the word is, uh, like stylistic, or I'll think of the word right after I finish doing this video. So anyway, um, oh yeah, one of the nice things, this is kind of a focus episode for Merrick and Shayla, so we don't learn too much about them, we get teensy little glimpses into their past, and that's always cool. Uh, I don't really have anything else to say about this one, so I'll end it here, I hope you enjoyed it, see ya.